speaking of coming back, according to Tom Thibodeau, OG could be on his way back very, very soon, man. OG Ananobi is res- has resumed five-on-five five contact. And basically, according to Tibbs, Al, it's just a matter of how he responds after practice. And if he's good, he- he's good to go. So could be any any day now for OG Ananobi, man. What, what do you think? We need him. And look, need he him. was showing some offensive game, too, before he went – he went down, so I'd like to see yeah. if he can come back and add that to this team that needs some offense, man. But you also need his defense too, um, and his knockdown shooting. Yeah, the knockdown shooting has also been, you know, outside of Dante, you need more guys who can knock down the three. Obviously, you have McBride who's been doing an admirable job as well. But looking forward to having OG back, man. Just so that way, it, it's it's the Brunson Randall OG show. Yep, you need OG to be healthy. That as much as I, I would say. You need OG back just so we see what he can do. He he needs to come back just to help this team get to the playoffs and keep maintain seating. He would be the guy I'm like, all right, because of his injury history, I'm like, what you're asking him to do is lesser on the totem pole than what Randall needs to do. And I would I, I'd be more okay with him if roles were reversed, him coming back later in the season. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I definitely agree with that. The, because he's a guy that you can plug and play. He's going to do his job out the gates. You, you know what I'm saying? If, if he's in great shape, his defense will lead the way. And if he's able to knock down the shots, if he's able to get into a rhythm, he should be fine. But like you said with Randall, it, there's a lot more moving parts to it in terms of ensuring you know how effective he can be with the shoulder and how he makes his, his team better, both as, as, a, uh, as a scorer and as a playmaker. So great points there. You know, when, when I when I look at the the looming return of OG and look at the schedule of when he could potentially be coming back, you know, you have the two Philly games. Is it Tuesday? Could it be Tuesday, that second Philly game? Maybe it's not. Mm-hmm. Could it be Sunday? Could it be Sunday? Could it be Tuesday? You know, obviously you have the Maxi match up there. You got Tobias Harris. Portland, they should be able to do fine just without him, do just fine without him. Sacramento now, you have the Fox Factor. Maybe you get some Sabonis. Do they bring him off the bench? Right? Let Hart start. Ramp up OG a little bit. Golden State, you know, does Steph, you know, he's, he's pretty, he wouldn't get much time on Steph, but you got Kaminga playing at a high level. Yeah, he'd probably defend right? Kaminga. Take Kaminga yeah. out of the game. You have Denver. He's taking on Porter Jr. as a Porter Jr. matchup. So, he makes these games a lot more digestible. You know, they 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 they, they will still be underdogs in in these in three of these games, but you know when you think about those tough assignments, he's a guy that you know you're looking to take that on. And then on top of that, I'm sure there's nobody happier to have OG Ananobi back than Josh Hart, <laughs> because then Josh Hart can now get a little bit of a, a breather, a little bit, a little bit. Like I said, it's no, yeah. it's no telling if they start OG right away or they bring him off the bench, but Josh Hart, I'm sure, will be happy to have OG Ananobi back. I'm sure he would be – he's praying for OG to come back. Like, man, look, these 40-plus point uh, outings are, are getting old to be old much. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, uh, funny enough, as uh, as as I'm – as I got the YouTube as we're doing this right now, so I can see the chat. Steph Curry uh, uh, for a Sirius XM uh, ad just pops up. So there you go for Steph, who will be the Knicks will be facing next week. But there you go. Yeah, for OG, like that's a guy that you want to make sure that he's healthy. That like yes. like you just said, CP. You you put it in simple simple terms. Plug and play guy, right? What you're asking him to do is not much. Shoot the three, play some good defense, be that guy for the second unit to give some offense. Um, I want him just to be ready CP for the playoffs because he is that he is what will tilt the scales, especially when you think about putting him on the best offensive player on the opposing team. Yep. Right. And if you have those big dreams of facing Boston at somewhere in the playoffs, he's the guy that you need healthy because he's the guy that's going to be on Jason Tatum. There you go. He's the guy who's going to be the turn for Jason Tatum. And you know, he's been very successful when it comes to slowing down Tatum. And it, that's the big picture. That's why roles reverse, man. I, I You could say OG could, you could wait for OG to come back to, at the end of the season and bring back Randall sooner if, if that was the case. But for OG, man, I agree with you. I think it's going to be, you just wean him back in, man. Have him come off the bench. You don't give him too many minutes. It's like what you're seeing for Hartenstein and Jalen Brunson tonight. 
you manage the minutes, man. There you, go. you don't need him to get injured. True indeed. True indeed.